hi welcome to my channel my name is peace today's video is going to be all about how to create a launch strategy i found that from speaking to people that are thinking about starting a business one of their biggest fears is uh, what if no one buys and there are definitely ways to minimize the chances of this happening you basically need to create a launch strategy which is always going to be unique to your business there is no one size fits all but there are definitely things you can implement to create an overall powerful strategy so that's what we're going to be getting into today but before we start please do hit that subscribe button so like I said, everyone's strategy is going to be unique, but regardless of which strategy you pick, there are things that everyone should be doing. Number one, you should be building your email and or text list. You want to be able to stay in contact with your potential customers in a way that is yours. And the thing about email lists and text lists, they are yours in terms of they are brand assets facebook and instagram and tiktok and snapchat they can all shut down your account at any time your email list can be changed from provider to provider it is your direct relationship with your customers and it's just such a powerful thing to be building from the very very beginning when i say from the very beginning i mean before you've even launched so you definitely want to have a list that you're able to formally launch to on your launch date that's beyond a social media following building on that the second thing you definitely do want to be building up your social media following i think that's a no-brainer but building on these two what you do want to make sure you have regardless of which strategy you pick that i'm going to get into is you want to have like a mapped out content strategy and that is going to be what emails are you sending between now and your launch date and what posts are you posting between now and your launch date and they have to be intentional you, sh you shouldn't just be like posting things willy-nilly, emailing things willy-nilly. It should all be part of an intentional content strategy that helps you to paint a picture of what your brand is about. You want to start getting your brand personality across, your brand purpose, your product's benefits, your product's features. Like You want to start nurturing and building an awareness and understanding of what your brand and what your product slash service offering is. And so as for the strategies, there are so many different launching strategies that you can use. So one of them is definitely giveaways. As you know, a lot of people do these giveaways where the rules, you have to tag friends and post your stories. And again, that just helps you build so much awareness. It will help you build your social media following. And it just kind of helps you launch with like a bang. And then everyone else can also shop afterwards. The giveaways is quite a good way to build momentum. A lot of these strategies, they're all about building momentum because it's just... It is awkward if you launch on your first day and there's no one there to buy or no one there that wants to buy. So you want to start this process of attracting like your target audience and a giveaway is definitely one way you can go about doing it. You also might want to use an influencer campaign. So you might have a set idea of what you want your campaign to be. And I mean campaign like what you see the big brands doing. So say you had a concept that you really wanted to get across about your brand. You can create like a campaign concept around this. So you could partner with loads of different influencers to create some content around this concept if that makes sense so I don't know say your hair extensions you wanted to kind of give off that Barbie look so you might have a campaign about I'm a Barbie this is so off the head so say you decided to go down the influencer route you can partner with loads of different influencers you give them this brief of creating content around I'm a Barbie and then you'll have an awareness because to do this you will be picking influencers that are in your target audience's space so then you're just going to be building this awareness and momentum that's in your pool of target customers all around this concept and then you're getting your brand personality across you're getting people to understand what you guys are all about and yeah as part of their brief you can always tell them in the caption in your stories whatever write down that we're launching on xyz date and obviously tag your company and then it will start to bring people that are interested in this concept to your page. So attracting the kind of people that are interested in what you sell. Another way of going about it is using a kind of scarcity model. So you might want to bring out a really limited amount. I will start with a really limited amount. You can't fully validate an idea until you sell it. So if you do want to start off with a really limited quantity, you can actually not only use it as a way to not leave yourself hanging with loads of untold stock, because untold stock is tied up cash. And we don't want that. So you might want to tie this into your launch strategy in that you've just got a really limited amount of pieces. It'll help you gauge demand. It will help you kind of come across as a bit more exclusive and it will keep people on their toes because people, some people take long to buy, some people are impulse buyers, but it will make the people that take longer to buy to speed things up a bit more next time. Do you know what I mean? So another route you can go down is having a big launch sale. This is actually all I did. A lot of these things are things that I would do, like knowing what I know now, 
and looking back I was like there's so much more I could have done um but I didn't know as much about marketing as I do now. I actually essentially work in marketing now, but yeah, literally all I did was a launch sale. So this can be a buy one, get one free. This can be 10% off, 20% off, 30% off. Just whatever you feel like is a compelling enough offer to get people to be like, whoa, this is worth trying out. One of the biggest concepts in marketing is no like trust factor. And you have to know someone to like them and you have to like them to trust them. And they, have, they don't even know you. Sometimes giving them that offer can encourage people to even try to get to know you. And then when they get to know you, they might end up liking you. When they like you, then they'll end up trusting you. So it's definitely a process, but a launch offer or a launch sale can push them closer to that point. And then the final way, I would say it's slept on, but it's not slept on because it's not something to play with at the same time, but it's paid ads. I'm not going to lie. If you know what you're doing with paid ads, you can essentially launch by going on Facebook ads, <laughs> setting up your campaigns and pressing start and then watching the cells eventually roll in if you know what you're doing that is the big caveat there is a reason why facebook ads and google ads and all these other paid ads platforms are some people's full-time job there are there is a reason why there are agencies that charge tens of thousands of pounds to run people's ads because a they are lucrative but b they're not easy to get grips of but now i've I can't say I've learnt it because it's not even like an end thing that like now I know everything there is to know. But now I know a lot, <laughs> a lot more than I used to know when I first tried. I think if you're someone who's dabbled in ads, you will understand that that thing can just rinse your money if you don't know what you're doing. My goodness. But if you do know what you're doing, if you're willing to invest in getting to know what you're doing, then paid ads is definitely a good way to launch. You press start on the campaign and the sales can come in pretty quickly. Those are all my tips. Overall, when it comes to creating a launch plan, you do want to come up with something that is unique to your business, that's unique to your product, that makes sense for your product. You can definitely use a combination of these strategies, but you need to ask yourselves questions like, does this product have viral potential? If it has viral potential, something like paid ads can do really, really well for you. Or is storytelling, for example, more important? If you have a really strong brand mission or brand purpose, this might be something that you need to get better at storytelling for. You probably wanna focus more on the organic route of social media and emails and just slowly but effectively telling the story of your brand and what your brand mission and purpose is. Or for example, are you in an industry that influencer marketing converts really well? If you're doing something like clothes, using influencer marketing in that industry is probably going to convert to sales quicker than for example if you were to start a catering company because if you start a catering company a lot of times the influencers that might appeal to your target audience isn't necessarily in the area that you deliver food to so it's it's very much about weighing up what makes sense for you what makes sense for your business what makes sense for your products their service um and yeah just picking and choosing whichever strategies you think can combine to create a cohesive and powerful strategy overall. All we just have to make sure that we're doing is being intentional with whatever we're doing. Don't just look at what other people are doing and think, oh yeah, yeah, everyone else is posting on Instagram every day. I'm gonna post on Instagram every day. Everyone else is giving their customers 10% off their first order, so I'm gonna do the same. Like, know, what, know the reasons why you're doing everything and be very intentional about what result you're trying to get from every action you take. I really, really hope that was useful. Please do subscribe, like and comment. I really pray for the best over any potential business launches that are watching this. I really, really pray that you are able to use these tips and any other tips you find to create a cohesive and powerful launch strategy and it will lead to a long term profitable business that you enjoy and you are passionate about because it is a very liberating feeling. Yeah, I will see you next week and thank you again for watching. Bye.